So I just had a very mild panic attack trying to find iodine because I could not find her in a cage anywhere. She wasn't in her nest, she wasn't anywhere to be seen, and I was just freaking out. I don't know, there's no way she could have escaped, so I couldn't understand where she'd gone. And so I was just picking things up and moving them around trying to find her, and I picked up her decorative mushroom. And I didn't realise she's actually found a way inside the mushroom. There is the tiniest hole on the bottom of this thing. And I would never think that she would be able to fit in there. But lo and behold, she's inside the mushroom. How the heck did you get inside the mushroom? I really hope you can get back out again. I'm pretty sure you can. But you really just scared the life out of me, girl. Hi. I'm, I'm very, very sorry for turning your mushroom, your house, upside down. I literally, I picked this thing up thinking that maybe she was underneath it or something. And so I picked it up that way and I felt her fall through. She's obviously sleeping at the back of the mushroom. And I felt her fall all the way through to this end. So, um... That was a bit of a rude awakening for her. I do apologise. I'm glad to know you're safe. Um, I, I'm not. I'm not sure how I feel about you nesting in here, though. So I may have to remove it because I don't know how I would even clean this. Like, how am I supposed to get all this stuff out of it? No, she just filled it full of nesting material. I don't know. Hey, you coming out of there? No. I mean, I would expect potassium to fit in there, no problem, but this lady, here's something else. Oh, there's a stretch. People have been missing those. As my way of saying sorry to you for waking you up so abruptly, you can come out and have playtime now. You can have a wander around the room. So, yeah, does that sound good? You can come out for playtime. I've set up your ramps so she can go out and down and down onto the floor and she's got the entire office to play in. Hopefully that will make up for this whole mess. I'm very sorry, Iodine. Are you going to come out the awkward way? Of course you are. Hello. Hi. Go on, you can do it. You can do it. No. <laughs> There's a ramp literally next to you. It's there. Use it for goodness sake. Oh, I've discovered what that corner's being used for. Because that was the face of a hamster peeing. Guess that's your toilet then. Huh? Yeah. You know, the stretching has become even more strange than it originally was because for the longest time, she's not done that. She genuinely has not done that for weeks. And. I think this is just backing up my theory now that she stretches when she's feeling a little stressed because she's just been through a horrible abrupt awakening and having a house turned upside down. That is something that's going to stress them out a little bit. I think she might be a stress stretcher. Is that what this is all about the whole time? Because that would definitely explain it. You did it right after we brought you home and that's the most stressful time in a hamster's life when they move to their first home. That could be an interesting little thing you do when you're feeling upset and that's useful for me to know it's a nice little uh, giveaway for when you're not feeling so good you really you just went on the ramp and now you want to jump don't you you gonna jump huh here come down to my hand come on we'll do this the easy way there's a girl good girl nope oh. come on Come yeah, on. No? You don't want my help. I'm an independent woman. I can do it myself. <laughs> You're just gonna go build a new nest. You stuff your face full of it. <laughs> Look how big her cheeks are now. How much can you hold, huh? You gonna take all of that? Yep. <laughs> oh, I love the little cheek pouches. Look at that. Look at the size. It just gets bigger and bigger. 
<laughs> that's just one of the pouches. Incredible little creatures. Where is it you want to go, huh? You know, back to your old nest. <laughs>